Hello, it's Arit here from Estatino Media, helping you create profitable content. And in today's video, I'm gonna show you how to set up a live class or a cohort-based course in Learn Worlds. So we'll first talk about the advantages of doing a live class or a cohort-based course in comparison to a regular self-paced online course. And then I'll go into Learn Worlds and show you exactly how to set it up so you can start hosting those live sessions. And if at any point in this video you feel inspired to create your own live course, then head down to the description below and you'll find a link that gives you a free 30-day trial to set this up in Learn Worlds. And they won't ask for any credit card information, which is nice. So let's get started. First, let's talk about why live classes might be good. It's There's a few reasons here that doing a live class or course will be beneficial to your company, your brand, your school. The main reason, of course, which I'm sure you've heard, is student engagement. In general, those live courses or cohort-based learning has higher retention and completion rates from students. So there's a ton of stats out there on how regular self-paced courses where people just come purchase the course and learn in their own pace, there's a lot of drop-offs. There's a lot of people who buy the courses but don't actually follow through the entire course. Heck, they don't even complete half of the course. So with live classes, you're really creating an environment where people are accountable to each other. Students are learning together. Maybe they're completing the homework together, depending on how you're setting it up. And because of this built-in accountability, students are more likely to complete the course. And this is good for you. You want people to complete the courses because this leads to more testimonials. It leads to stories that you can go on and share, which will help you sell more of the course. And of course, you're creating more of an impact that way as well. It can also lead to, you know, if students have a really great experience in the live class with you, it's easier to upsell them on other products, maybe on higher ticket offers like one-on-one -on -one coaching or consulting, or maybe a VIP mastermind product or service that you offer. Now you can use these live classes in different ways. You can, let's say, create a coaching course, a live coaching course, where you only take on maybe a handful of students. It could be less than 10 students at a time. What you can do, which I'll show you in a second how to do, is provide them with the learning materials beforehand within each module. And then at the end of the module, have a live session where you're offering them a Q&A. It could be a live discussion with the students and you as the instructor. So in this sense, you're using those sessions, those live sessions, as more of a Q&A discussion to help students get through any places where they're stuck with the course curriculum, maybe implementing certain action steps or applying the knowledge that they just learned. Another thing you could do is do a bigger group of students. You could do a cohort-based course where many different students come in to your class. It's a live session where you're teaching most of the material live to a bigger group of students. And then after that session, you can encourage them to read the supplemental materials, maybe take a quiz or an assessment to test their knowledge of that, of what they just learned in the live session. So in this sense, whether you're doing the smaller coaching classes or the live group coaching sessions, you're really creating a learning experience for the students. Now let me show you how to set this up in Learn Worlds. So what you would do is sign into your Learn Worlds account, or if you don't already have an account, you can click on the link below to access your free 30-day trial. And once you're back in there, you've logged in, uh, go to courses. So over here on the left-hand side, it's the first icon available. You're gonna go to courses and you're gonna click on create course. Right off the bat, you can give it a title and you can always change this so you can come back. Uh, if you're not sure what the actual title is of your course, just give it a working title. So maybe something like Introduction to Course Creation, let's just say. All right, you're gonna hit next and give your course a friendly URL here. So you can go through this setup and Learn Worlds makes it really easy to give you tips on what to do. Keep it short, use keywords of your course. So I really like that they do this here. This essentially will, you know, if you're using a temporary My Learn Worlds domain, and then later you end up choosing a custom domain, like for example, www.mydomain.com, it'll have slash courses and then slash this slug, which ends up going to your course landing page. 
So just wanted to let you know about that in advance. Um, I'm going to leave this as is. I'm going to hit next. And over here, because it's going to be a paid course, you're going to hit... The reason why, by the way, I don't set it to draft or coming soon is because nobody has the link anyways to this course. So it really doesn't matter uh, whether the course is published or in a draft. Nobody has the link. And also, I can see certain things on the front end. For example, on the course landing page, I'm able to see what it looks like when it actually is live, when it is published, when I choose this paid option here. So I'm going to leave it as paid, hit next. We're going to give it a price. Again, this is something you could always go back and change. So let's just say it's $197 for now. I'm going to hit next. Over here, I can upload an image and a description for the course. And by the way, if you, you don't know some of this stuff, you can actually skip it. You could just go to next and you can always come back and fill that in. Um, all right, very important for live classes. So when you're doing this right here, you want to toggle this button to on for the drip feed. And what a drip feed is, is just basically the method of how the lessons or the modules will be delivered or released to students who have registered for your course. Now, because they are live scheduled sessions, they are going to be progressive, right? They're gonna be subsequent. Maybe you'll have one live session in, in week one and another live session in week two. So you can click that toggle to be on and then select drip by date. So again, we're gonna be setting specific dates to our live classes. So this is the one that you wanna choose. If it's, um, just to explain what drip by days means is that no matter when the person signs up for the course, they'll be dripped that feed accordingly, but it doesn't really work for live sessions because live sessions are live. They need to be there during a specific time and day. That's why we choose drip by date. So I'm gonna hit finish. And then what it does here is just throw up a templated uh, course landing page for me, which I can always come back to and edit later. And really quick note on the course landing page, you can make it a full page that's ready for enrollment right away if you are offering your live classes right away, or if you wanna do a bit of a promotion beforehand, let's say a month or two in advance, then you can use this page to set up a waitlist page where people just sign up for your mailing list and then when it's actually live, you can change this course landing page to have a checkout and send them an email that it's ready to go. So let's go over to contents because I want to show you how these live sessions are created. So first I need to create a section. So let's just do, I'm just going to name it week one. All right. And it's again, it's a paid module. So in week one, I want this module to be unlocked, let's just say October 24th, because that's the first date where I'll be running the first live session. So going back to the calendar here, I'm planning on running my live classes once every Monday and then giving the students the rest of the time here, the rest of the week to read any supplemental materials, watch a video that I might give them, do the homework, do a quiz so that they're ready to go. They've implemented those steps before coming to the, the second live session on October 31st. And I can choose to send an email notification to the students who have registered and I can create that email in here if you like. Once this is set up, you hit save. And I can now start to set up these separate learning activities or lessons within this module. Let me show you how to do that. The first learning activity that we wanna set up is our live session. So on October 24th, I'm going to do a live session. I'm going to click on live session right here. And you can see the different options that are available to me. Now, Learn Worlds makes it really easy to integrate with your Zoom accounts. And you can choose between Zoom meeting or Zoom webinar. I would advise if you're doing a bigger group live session, more like a lecture based session for many different students, then choose webinar. But if you're doing the smaller group of students, like I mentioned earlier in this video, like a live smaller group coaching session, then choose Zoom meeting. And I'll explain the differences in more detail in terms of how it integrates with your Zoom account a little bit later in this video. So for now, let's just say I'm doing a Zoom meeting. So I'm just gonna name this, let's get started live session one, all right? I'm gonna hit save and edit. 
you'll see here it says Zoom not activated. So we need to go and activate or integrate our Zoom account with our Learn Worlds account. To do that, head over to the settings area, go to integrations, and then live sessions. So under live sessions, you'll see that you're able to in integrate with these different tools here. So all you need to do is click on activate and you're gonna connect your account. So what it's gonna do is gonna ask you to uh, log into your Zoom account. Now, if you're doing Zoom meetings, remember when I showed you, you could choose between Zoom meetings and Zoom webinars. If you're doing Zoom meetings, it's totally fine to integrate a free Zoom account. So you can use a free Zoom account and you'll be limited to 40 minutes um, of your, your class. And I think it's, it's 100 students or something like that. It has a specific limit, which is why Zoom meetings are better for hosting live classes with smaller groups. If you're doing Zoom webinars, I advise you to get a paid Zoom account because you don't want to be limited by the number of students. And also, if you are doing those bigger group classes, then you can also use some really cool features like the breakout rooms within Zoom. And you'll just have more control in the room with so many people live in there. So with that, you do need a paid Zoom account and you will also need a what's called a webinar add-on for Zoom. Make sure you have those things set up beforehand because then you're gonna come in here, click connect account, and then follow the prompts to integrate your Learn Worlds and your Zoom. And by the way, to do this integration um, with Zoom, you will need at least the Pro Learner account for Learn Worlds. Well, it's actually called Pro Trainer, as you see here on the screen. You'll need at least this plan right here to be able to host live sessions. If you have multiple instructors with multiple Zoom accounts in your school that are going to be hosting live sessions, then you will need something a little bit more robust. I would advise to go with the Learning Center because that's what allows you to have multiple Zoom accounts connected to your Learn World school. So once you have connected your Zoom account, you're going to head back to Courses and go back into the paid course that we had created here. And I'm gonna click on contents. And under this live session here, when you hit settings, you're gonna see a whole bunch of different things that you can configure. Some of the things that you're gonna be able to configure is the Zoom account that you're connecting to, the live topic and description of the lesson or the live session. You're gonna choose your date and time. So for this one, we will choose October 24th because that's the first live session that I'm hosting. You'll choose the duration. You can set a password. You can click on whether to show the join URL page and other options as well that uh, either allow you to mute participants as they enter in. Or for example, if you wanna allow participants to join the live session before you're even there so that people can interact in the meantime. What it ends up looking like is something like this where if they click on that Zoom or live session, it'll show a button like this that says join live session. And the cool thing about this is that people can be live with you within the Learn Worlds course player. So it doesn't take them away from your Learn Worlds site or the membership site. It allows them to participate in the live session within your membership area of your Learn Worlds school. So that's how you create the live session activity in your curriculum and you can also like i mentioned add other learning activities here like for example if you want them to read something or a pdf or you can upload a video as homework after the live session or maybe before the live session so you can come through here and explore through these different learning activities and i'll show you something else that's pretty cool here um, when it is time to actually start your sessions you can manage everything from an option that will show up under dashboard in your Learn Worlds account, it'll basically plot all of the live sessions for you in this calendar so you can see at a glance what's happening for the upcoming month. And when you click on one of those live sessions from within your calendar, you can easily start the webinar or the Zoom meeting right from there or change any of these other settings here right from one place, which is really nice. And that's it. Once you start setting those up, you've integrated your Zoom account. Participants will now either see something like this that says the live session is not ready yet if it's not time, but it's a future session, or they will see something like this, which invites them to join the live session. 
So I hope this video has been helpful for you. Check out some of the resource links that I have for you in the description below to make this entire process easier. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.